Hey everybody, Mark Davis and the moments following our Tuesday, September 23rd, 2014 talk show. If this is the part where you look at your screen and say, here's the moment at which the conservative Republican, fairly war aggressive talk show guy ought to show some grudging appreciation for the president calling in airstrikes on Syria, that moment is here and consider it done. I do appreciate it. Disproving the entire nonsensical narrative that I've just got something against Obama, I hate him, I hate him because he's black, I hate him because of this, it's always been about what's been in here and what's been here. When the guy does something I actually like, which has been virtually never, but when he does it, I show appreciation for it. Like the Afghan surge, that was a pretty good couple of days there. And for however long this lasts, I'm going to admire this too because there's something really odd in the air right now. I now live in a country where we are doing something, actually leading from the front, imagine that, actually doing something that, that speaks to a certain seriousness about entering a war that are re-entering a war, re-establishing a place on the battlefield in a war that our enemy never left. They never left. They never stopped fighting us. We stopped fighting them. We gave our enemy the promise of dates of withdrawal that only serve to, to energize them. ISIS was absolutely created by this administration's failure to engage in the war. So listen, with that water under the bridge, now is this a moment of epiphany. Uh, if indeed American inactivity and sloth uh, in the, in the, on the battlefield is part of what gave rise to ISIS, will our sudden awakening be enough to vanquish and dispatch them? Well, it depends on what we do now. It cannot be just airstrikes. It can't. Uh, there is no such thing as a war that's ever been won solely from the air. There will have to be those unfortunately maligned boots on the ground. We'll have to have soldiers. They must wear boots. They must carry guns. They must drive tanks. They must do so in order to vanquish the enemy that can only be scattered and frustrated by airstrikes. So let's see where the bar is set. I am grateful for the airstrikes. The continued gratitude that I hope to offer will be when this president and his administration, as former Defense Secretary Leon Panetta has already done on 60 Minutes, he said we left Iraq too early. He's right. This is not about politics. This is about what is objectively necessary to win wars. So where's this going to go? I know there are people who are going to say, well, are we going to be in Iraq and Afghanistan and Syria for, for five or ten years? We might. We might. And if that is sobering to you, if that is unpleasant to you, if that is jarring to your senses, let me give you something that might be a little more unsettling. Imagine our countrymen bathed in jet fuel again, jumping out of the 80th floor of some building because that fate is better than the one that awaits them if they stay in their office cubicle. Uh, imagine the, the unspeakable kinds of, that actually did happen, of course, at 9-11, for those who don't remember. Uh, but imagine, uh, you know, bodies being carted out of a major American mall or, or people pouring out of a subway system that's been hit with some kind of biological weapon. These things will happen if we fail to meet the challenge. This, this spreading of the caliphate by sword point, this global jihad that we are at war against, whether we have the occasional president that fails to realize it or not. So for now, for today, I'm gratified. And thank you, Mr. President, for actually doing something. Now let's see if we can string together some days, string together some months, perhaps leading to the end of your term, so that we can string together a period at which our enemies will actually think that we are going to fight them. Because that, ultimately, is how you win wars. You kill enough of the enemy that they stop fighting you. There's no other way to do it. So, thanks everybody for listening and for watching here on 660AMTheAnswer.com. I have a feeling this will be a lion's share of a lot of our talk shows these days. These and other subjects uh, carried out with your telephone participation. So do join us. Mark Davis Show, 7 to 10 Central Time, Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, we do Bill Bennett's Morning in America, which starts at 5. Wow. And uh, that's Central Time. But thank you for joining us whenever you do join us here on 660 AM The Answer.